Let's leave them guys. So today's video is gonna be about this Netgear AC 1000 router. So I'm gonna do unboxing and post review and give my two comments on what this does. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. We are going to do the unboxing of Netgear AC 1000 dual band Wi-Fi router. Model number is uh, 6080 and the pricing of this is 41.99 but I got it for 1400 from Amazon and this is some te technical specifications about it 2.4 and 5 gigahertz support and it says the Wi-Fi coverage throughout your large home but we are going to test it later and best thing is they are giving the Netgear Genie app on Google Play and App Store so this is a good thing so let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the box you see what's inside the box. and this is a quick start guide model is as you can see sorry it's r680 and this is the package container and this is the diagram we're going to keep this aside and we got the router itself this is the netgear 6080 router these are the dual band antennas which we can see and this is the power wi-fi internet and ethernet i believe and these are the four ports for the lan internet port power adapter on off and reset slash WPS as you can see it's WPS and this is the Netgear content nothing else keep this side and this is the Ethernet cable and this is the adapter and the reading is 12 volt and 1 ampere so that's good and normal rating so it's good to see and so we are going to set it up so open the interface by entering 192.168.1.1 and here you can see the account for admin and security questions i'm going to put it as admin in the password and select the security questions So I've already done the configuration of this. This is only for demo to show you guys how to run the configuration. So I'm gonna put it over here at bunny. Funny. So there it is. You can see 4.2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz settings the ssid and the password so now it's going to ask for firmware upgrade if any yes there is so i'm going to go and hit yes over here now the firmware is upgraded so here's the first interface we get basic settings we also have netgear genie app which you can download from internet from their website 
it shows everything every setting but basic setting you're gonna have to do it on the, your browser because I recommend it to do it on your browser so we're gonna go ahead and do that so here we are going to change the primary DNS and secondary DNS and put it as Google's DNS that is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.4 that is the basic settings for google dns by which uh, some says that the web browser can open really fast but i don't see any difference so we're gonna do it anyway and the remaining settings should be seen and now in wireless region uh, we're gonna set it as india and you can do according to your region and the SSID is for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz settings you can change it according to your need and the maximum speed that they can provide is up to 300 in 2.4 and 650 in 5 gigahertz so there is that and remember your setting should be in WPA to ESK AES in both so also the channel should be set on 1 or 6 or 11 because these are non overlapping bands in 2.4 gigahertz so I'm gonna set it at 6 and in 5 gigahertz you will set it as 44 so this is the basic settings for the wireless now coming to advanced settings so this is the setup wizard WPS wizard and the internet setup which already we have done so nothing to change over here and coming to wireless setup also we have done so the guest network is also the same as the wireless setup so in van setting we're gonna make some changes we're gonna respond to paint internet port as a check mark now empty size should be set on 1492 and the net filtering should be done as open and i'm gonna disable the sip already and the rest of setting should be the same now we can apply this coming to LAN setup uh, this should be uh, remain as default so in access control the devices you can control whether to block also in parental control you can uh, control it from Netgear Genie app all you need to do is create an open DNS account on it and that can be controlled via mobile app or this app so nexus control you can either block allow or edit whatever you want to do with that particular device and now coming to the blocking sites you can type whatever site you want to block and in schedule you can set the schedule for that block site or the timings now coming to administrator this is the router setup status and the logs are the same and the backup you can do the backup setting save a copy and restore the same copy and in NTP this is the timing of this router and now coming to advanced wireless uh, this should be set as a default if not note down this number because this is the default setting you don't need to change anything in it and this is the wireless access point port forwarding static route UPnP and all, all that if you don't know the settings please don't change it so there is this so this is the setup for the router now I'm gonna show you 
the coverage of this router via the insider app which I have installed in my PC now here I'm going to show you the difference and the coverage of 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band now we are connected to 2.4 gigahertz and it is on channel 1 and my 5G network is connected on channel 44 as you can see and here the signal strength of 2.4 is 37 and I'm currently sitting two feet away from my router and now I'm going to show you the internet speed of it so uh, then 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are not have pretty much difference when it comes to 50 mbps speed the difference you can uh, see is on 1 gigabits per second plan because there the 5g will have more speed than 2.4 gigahertz so this is the speed of 2.4 gigahertz and now I'm going to connect to 5 gigahertz and show you the speed so there you can see the speed doesn't have any difference in here but if you consider 5 gigahertz uh, the streaming on different devices there you can find the 5 gigahertz much more useful because it won't give you any lag if you have four to five devices streaming together so 5 gigahertz will compare over there so this is the speed now I'm going to show you 20 feet away analysis I'm currently at 20 feet away and now you can see the more devices that add up that is that are overlapping on channel 6 and channel 1 but no 5 gigahertz band other band so see the signal strength of 5g it's 80 minus 80 so here I'm going to show you so and I've noticed that this insider app ha have some effect on my downloading speed I don't know why but it does so I have to close every time to show you the actual speed so I'm going to refresh it over here and I'm gonna hit go again I know but it has some effect on the speed maybe it's due to the analysis or but as you can see the 5 gigahertz on 20 feet away had a little effect but also I don't know this effect is due to uh, that analysis app or not so the downloading speed it gives is 12 and uploading is around 6 yeah so this is that now i'm going to show you 2.4 gigahertz at 20 feet away from my router also uh, there is two brick walls in between note that so the walls also had effect on the router signal of course so here you can see there's the 20 feet away there is no difference between uh, difference in the speed of 2.4 gigahertz 
so I'd say uh, that 2.4 is pretty much good and the uploading is also not bad as you can see now I'm at 25 to 30 feet away and the signal strength dropped to around 90 something in 5G and 64 in 2.4 gigahertz and there is also overlapping in this so I'm currently in 2.4 I'm going to show you first 5 gigahertz speed so you can see the 78 is the range limit Now here you can see even at 25 to 30 feet away from my router and three brick walls in between the 5 gigahertz is capable of giving 15 megabits per second and the uploading speed is less uh, the readings are almost as same as the at 20 feet away I'm going to connect to 2.4 gigahertz and show you the same. Now here you can see the downloading speed is had a little effect. It's 37 now at 30, 25 to 30 feet away, and this is the uploading speed 34. So as you can see, uh, this is the night gear coverage for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so as you have seen the coverage of this router uh, how my Netgear router have performed so my uh, advice to you guys is if you want to uh, buy this router Go ahead and buy this router required to be in the middle of the house so it can cover every area and the main thing is it comes with a software plate so you don't have to worry about any software issues security issues and if you want to use this for the future purpose so I'm gonna recommend you to go with uh, the 1200 and above uh, this 1200 or above because uh, it only supports in AC network up to 650 Mbps so in gigabits plan it will limit to only 650 so that remaining uh, 350 will be wasted and if you like the video hit like dislike or comment and please do subscribe